Hello, welcome to Stevo's Garage. I got a quick, quick tip for you here on this 2003 Honda Element. Got the P2646 code uh, voltage low on the VTEC system, which uh, you've probably seen plenty of videos on this. If you have the problem, it's the VTEC solenoid and pressure switch back here behind the um, behind the head. Uh, I'm fortunate in that my 22 millimeter socket was thin enough to get in and actually take the pressure switch out. So I've checked the uh, the ground on the pressure switch um, connector. So that's good. Now, I, just like uh, Kentucky Home uh, Garage says, finding information is difficult. So in testing the, the reference voltage, uh, on a CRV, it's 12 volts. Um, what I was getting on mine was about five. So I don't know if the, just the reference voltage is five rather than 12, or whether that is actually the cause of the problem that I have low voltage coming to the pressure switch in the VTEC spool valve. Um, but how do you get just five volts out on a, on a signal wire when it's putting out 12? That seems a little um, far-fetched. But I wanted to show you how I tested the um, the pressure switch. Like I said, I was able to pull it out. So here it is, uh, using these little covered alligator clips because the pins are really close to each other in there. Um, I've just got one end to the uh, negative on the battery, and the other end I'm going to hook up to my uh, test light right here. And because of the setup, when it's uh, when the VTEC is off. This switch is actually closed, so we're going to get the test light glowing without um, without any pressure in there. So I just got this uh, fuel hose I found in the um, toolbox, and I got my little Ryobi um, air pump so set up so that I can just push down on this and it'll go off because I have to hold this connection right here. It'll blow off. So the idea is when the pressure comes up to about 20, we're going to see that light go out. So there we go. Let's try it. There we go. In fact, I did it so good. It blew off the, uh, it blew off my uh, pressure switch and went flying. So there you go. You get a little bit of a show, um, but you did see that the test light went out when I, um, hit pressure on the switch. So we know the switch is good. Um, we're still getting the 2646 code. It's uh, jerking above 2600 RPM intermittently. Um, I'm gonna have to check in farther to that reference signal, see if that's it. Otherwise, changing the oil, doing all the standard things, trying to um, change the filter. Um, but that's the way I tested the pressure switch. All right, you've been in Steve-O's garage. Thanks, hope you have a good day.